And Kevin has managed to flip a couple of Eastern racers. They were under the same board. Nice and easy, buddies. These guys are always fun to mess around with because they are very feisty and very wiry. They're named the racer because they're just so fast. They're actually a very, very common snake in throughout most of Oklahoma, but a lot of times they're very rarely seen because they're very alert and they see you first and true to their name, they race off. Trying to settle these guys it's down for the video. May not happen. <laughs> sure glad uh, me and Kev went out this day. We've had some good finds. Especially not this one, but maybe this one. A lot of wind noise. Sorry about that. But <laughs> that sometimes happens when you're out in the field. We're on a power line cut in northern Oklahoma. Power line cuts, if you can hike them, a lot of times are good places to find snakes. They have some open areas to sun. Uh, sometimes there's some cover. Knock down brush. Don't do that. Things you can find them under. Oh, that's perfect right there. Hang on. And also, I think um, power line cuts are probably where a good number of snakes get preyed upon by things like hawks, owls, just because that's scenario they can come out into the open. These guys are both full-grown um, eastern yellow-bellied racers, I believe is what uh, a lot of people still technically call them. This one's going to get a hold of Kevin in a minute. It's not uncommon with these guys. They, they will bite. They will defend themselves. But they are non-venomous and, <laughs> and harmless. I want to thank uh, Kevin for going with me today, taking me to this spot. <laughs> And I want to thank uh, you guys for watching the video. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And um, leave me a comment. Leave me a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching.